Friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is James Owen Brown, and I'm joined by my good friend, James Ryan Zippe. We are here to open up these packs of cards. Now, before we get to that, we're going to talk about cards. What cards were like to us as kids? God, I loved cards as a kid. Try not to let the dog destroy everything. There's no, a puppy here. His bad. name's Charlie. It's already all bad. Hey, What's put Charlie? that down. Hey, let that go. Let that go. Is he chewing on the wire? Yeah, he just grabbed the wire and ran with it. Oh, Jesus. It's not ideal. We're back. One for the outtake reel for sure. That was good. Want to start again? No, we're good. <laughs> I'm James Owen Brown. You're James Ryan Zippe. That's we're right. here to open up all these cards. When I was a kid, I bought cards. I like the gum in the card. Really? I like the gum. Like you preferred it to other gum? No, 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 no. But I thought it was cool yep. that you got to stick a pink gum. Yeah. Sometimes it would cut my mouth all up because it was all like broken and shattered when you touched yeah. it. Other times it was pliable. Now I just watched you know? somebody open some football cards from 1986 that had gum. There's no gum in any of this, right? None of this has gum. No. Wax they, paper they wrappers, remember that stuff? The 1986 Joe Montana Flawless centered rookie card had gum all stuck to the back and the gum was bleeding through onto the front oh like the card was destroyed surface is one of the things cgc is going to look at right and out of 10 like, like we're talking four one. digits four figure card that's a nuts four figure card that's graded nuts. 10 right gem, okay gem yeah but let's pristine. let's talk about this graded <laughs> stuff for a minute because it's just it's really getting under my skin it's confusing so all right when i was a kid I bought baseball cards from the convenience store, probably from when I was, I mean, the earliest card I have is 86 Don Russ. Uh, I don't even know who was on the card. From there to like 92, and those were those upper decks I was telling you about, right? So there's like a six year window where I bought cards. Um, and I've been going through them, and I'm looking them up on this, this site to see how much how much they're worth and I'm looking at the PSA 10s. What's the site? Uh, cards, sportscardspro.com probably. Okay. Sportscard Pro for short, right? We'll find it, we'll put it up. Um, and I'm looking at just all the PSA 10s. Now most of the other stuff, it'll show you like graded nine, uh, 10s, nine and a half, nines, all the way down the way you want to go. It'll show you how many sales in the last year there were, presumably cool. at that price. Yeah. Um, and then I'll stop on that card and I'll look through my little, I got, you know, a little tiny stack of like, yay of Don Russ 88, okay. score 91 baseballs. And yeah, so you got them sorted by brand and all that. Yeah, and Not I'm, I'm player, just going through all those team. now. Yeah. Just by number. Oh, okay. And as I scroll through, all right, do I have, oh, look at that one, PSA 10, that's $68. So do then I have you it? know it's worth flipping through, see if you have it, right. look at the condition. Because then it comes down to, if, it, if we're talking 30, 40 bucks a card, to get graded, if it's not a 10, and that's 60 to 70 bucks in value, mm -hmm. what's a nine? If I'm looking at my card, I'm like, well, I think it's a nine, maybe a nine and a half. It is. A it's nine. everything's mint. No, there's some of my things where the corners are bent a little bit. Yeah. Those are like the 88 Opeachy baseball cards or tops or, you it's know, I still. Feel like anything from that era, from what I've learned, is worthless unless it's in flawless condition. And if it is in flawless condition, people will buy it and you'll have no trouble selling it at a 10. So by, so, okay, so if you're, is that it? I can only accept nine and a half and tens? From that era to me, because it was all overproduced, mass produced, there's millions of them. Now, if you were one of those lucky kids who put your stuff in, uh, look, supplies, penny sleeves, and top loaders. We got 25, and you commented earlier. Boxes too. That 25 isn't gonna be enough top loaders. Is that all there is in that? 25. You're not gonna have enough. So this man's- Can you predicted. double up front and back? I, I think that's frowned upon. You know what else I learned is frowned upon? And I learned all this by joining a Facebook group called Sports Card Nonsense. Somebody was showing off their cards, and they had them in those nine nine slot binder pages <laughs> yeah i'm a little terrified where you're going with this this person got dragged because those nine they'll if they're in there too long they'll stick to the 
they'll stick to the plastic. And plastic? Yeah, they'll ruin your cart. You'll be trying to pull what it out. What if it's in a just... temperature controlled place? Oh, maybe. You're like, you have to. Because I've had this whole set of dice. cards, and I'm putting all the cards that I'm finding in my old cards, I'm putting them in those. those well, nine... How old are the supplies that you bought? Did you go out and buy current supplies? I bought those supplies. Maybe they've remedied that? Five, six years ago. Maybe they've remedied that. I mean, that's what I'm going with. But, I mean, I got a whole set, and there's a one card that's worth 28 bucks. 28? <laughs> I mean, it is think, $28, how, but how do you I'm think hard. it would grade? Like a nine, man. Like a... <laughs> Look, these cards, okay, so they're maybe slightly, I was telling you, right, these cards have rounded corners. Yes. So, there's not so much as, like, the like the fine points, the 90 degree angles okay, so being they, pushed into it. they're designed it. with rounded corners. Right, okay, I think specifically okay. to avoid that. Sure. Um, with these, these, again, these are magic cards, right? So those corners, I think, are, are beneficial to the, to the owner of the card. The biggest issue I see with them is the centering of the picture on the front. Yeah. And that's yeah, the same with the Griffey and everything right. else. Right. Really hard to find a perfectly centered card. Yeah, which I didn't realize as a kid. I didn't, like, unless you got one that was crazy wonky. I saw one. There's people who miscuts buy Miscuts and stuff, people, right? Yeah, people buy miscuts. So uh, there that's was a cool. worthless card from I hope we Bowman. get some miscuts. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get nothing but miscuts. Have you ever heard of the brand Bowman? Yeah, of course. Okay, so I was looking at my cards last night. I saw Bowman. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. It's garbage. Bowman's a thing? Like I, a name? Yeah. Well, for baseball, at least. Okay, well, it's baseball. I think, I, I think it's 89, 89 Bowman, 90 People Bowman, always whatever talk it is. about it in the nonsense group. It's a player that I, I have no idea who it is, but it's got his... Clearly, it's it's miscentered all the way to the right edge, Yeah. but it's also been miscut. So the Bowman logo has been cut in half at the bottom, and the other half is at the top of the card. Okay. And it's the card itself as PSA 10, I think it was $7. Wow. And I'm looking at mine, I'm like, well, it's not a 10. Maybe it's an eight. I don't know. It doesn't look that rough. A couple bucks. But because of the crappy cutting, maybe I thought, well, yeah, let's put it in there. So he's will... sitting beside like, I don't know, like a Jose Canseco and a Ken Griffey Jr. And then there's this guy. I'm like, nobody knows who this guy is. Somebody knows. So on, on, on this site, if it doesn't have a price, I'm like, well, well check eBay. That's the other I've thing. I've checked eBay, yeah. That's it's the true. definitive eBay, but and then filter it by sold. People will be like, they'll post in the group, they'll be like, what is this card worth? And other people will be like, why don't you Google it? <laughs> so, like, they drag each other and it's hilarious. Okay. But then somebody will take the time and put screenshots of going to eBay, searching for your thing, then filtering it to all the ones that have sold and when they sold and for how much. And then ideally, you would take five and kind of average it out. That's how I've been doing it as I've been selling off my storage locker, which you can check out in a playlist called James Sells' Collection right here if you subscribe. You should subscribe, it helps. Not me, I, I have a collection, but I'm not selling it. It's a very small collection. You probably don't want much of it. That's the thing. Although, although I'm seeing a lot of cards that in my opinion, which doesn't count for much, don't don't take my word as if it means something, because it doesn't, not in this realm anyways. Yeah, we're back, we're back um, in this hobby. Oh, But geez. my cards look crisp, okay? <laughs> Let me just say, my cards look crisp. They've been sitting in a box like this, although the color of my box is gray. Okay. Like it's 31 years old. By design or like No, I think age, <laughs> with age and care. You may want right? to replace some of those supplies. Spend a little bit of unsexy money. Because they can't be good sitting in that yellow. I, they've been mint. They've been on a shelf in a closet for 31 okay. years, right? Hey, it's your cards. And so uh, <laughs> you want to pull all sixes and sevens. <laughs> they just come out as a chunk. Oh, God. All the inks run together. So in, in this video, we're, we're going to open these four packs of cards as almost like a test run. And we'll do that at the end. That's your cliffhanger. And uh, if you want to see us open the rest, you're going to have to subscribe because that's most likely going to come as shorts. And then once those are out, we'll release the, the video in its entirety for sure. So it'll be a whole thing. So as much as there's lots of cards here, there's lots of content here, friends. So if you enjoy opening packs of cards and seeing, chasing the dream of finding 
the sender is Ken Griffey Jr. Wow. So you can pay $40 to send it away, praying that it gets a 10. And at best, it gets a 10. How much? 488 bucks. Listen, if I, you tell me, you give me 40 bucks, and I'll give you something with 400 and what? 78, did you say? 488. 488, that's even better, I right? I mean, it depends. I would take that auction. every day, because even if you're like, no, no, I'll give you 400 for it. Mm -hmm. Great, give me 400, there's for 10 sure. times. But you Let's are, go. that's the risk you're taking that you're gonna pull that 10. That's the thing, because at a nine, now we're looking at 70 bucks. What if, I mean, you're, you're still up, but are you, are you getting a nine? That card that you But isn't, that, isn't that why you buy 19 packs of Panini 2022 NFL trading cards? Don Russ football? Yes. <laughs> well, there's but a lot of it. talk in the group, too, about how it's just straight up it's gambling. 100%. It's like playing and a stock yeah, market. Like you're, you're betting on stocks. Yeah, I don't. Like you're, who's you, on you the bought other 19 side shares of, of this. Who's on the other Don side Ross of that? Don Russ is on the other side of that. They just who's, want your money. They don't no, care. Who's arguing that it's not gambling? Like our people out there and they're like, Listen, no, it's not no, investing no. until you start buying investing old, is a terrible old old <laughs> things. Like it's not not investing, but this is a, like it's a terrible investment, I think. Like that unless that, you chase vintage. Right? That's it. Yeah. That's it. If you're going vintage, that's it. Yes. Cause and guys that like now here's a tasteless thought that I've had. Aaron Hernandez cards are worth a lot. Are they so really? If you, if you stockpile guys and, kill people? and they happen to, you know, their life hits the skids <laughs> and they end up in a situation, someone gets murdered, those cards can be worth a bit too. Did he kill more than one person? <laughs> yeah. Well, he was, they were trying to try him posthumously. That's a whole right. different Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not get into that, but podcast. still. But I've got, the, I've got the supplies. They said to get the supplies. I've cut my fingernails because that was an issue. People get dragged for having dirty fingernails. We got 25 top loaders. You don't think that's enough? I don't think that's enough. I, I suggested doubling up and you <laughs> scoffed at me and scolded me a little bit. And I thought, I, well, shit. I mean, I hope that it's not enough. That would be a good problem to have. I'm telling you right now, out of all these packs, I'm gonna just guess. I'm gonna guess and say you've got 600 cards. You think that many cards? Well, look, right here. I guess so. We've I mean, got you got nearly, you got 19. like 100 so packs, 100. 100 right there. Yeah, I Right, suppose. and there, like, I'm looking at, yeah, I'm big, looking at 50 right there. The big cello packs. These fat boys, what are they? You got 100, you got uh, yeah, 160. So you might have like 800 cards here. Yeah, I bet you out of 800 cards, okay. Out of 800 cards, how, what percentage would you like to see as cards you would put in something else to keep it safe? What percentage of 800 cards? 10%? Are 10% of these cards? Wow. Yeah, I guess Good. when you start looking at it like that. I mean, I did get a hundred penny sleeves. I don't see anything wrong with the penny sleeves. No. Because they, they got a little bit of a border and the corners are nice and, and it I, protects the card as long as it's not getting crushed. I think the process, because we've both have been very willing to admit that we know nothing. We're coming back into the hobby after you said 32 years. Yeah. And I'm 19 years since I bought a pack it's of For cards. sports, for sports. For, for sports, I'm probably just over 20. For sports, I'm 32 me. years. For other types of cards, I'm 28 years. Now the magic cards. That's that's it. That's where that's I was. That's where when I was like at. 13, 14. It was probably when I lost. I mean, I started selling my magic cards when I was 19, 20 to pay for a ski trip in first year university. And I'm so pissed that I did that because I went to the store and, you know, the card itself was going for 20 bucks. Yeah. And the guy gave me 10 for it. And I thought that's awesome because all I needed to get was, you know, 180 and everybody's chipping in like 10 of us are going. Yeah. So the price is really low. So I'm selling CDs. Napster just came out. Yeah. So I'm downloading all my CDs, <laughs> yeah. selling my CDs. Yeah. yeah. Throw money down the toilet. Selling my magic cards. Cause I'm, I, I mean, I'm, no one, I'm not playing anymore. I didn't see the value that was right in front of me. Yeah. And now those same magic cards are, are anywhere from four to a thousand dollars a piece. And I didn't, I didn't know because the series that I was playing was, I think, the third or the fourth series of Magic Cards history. And okay. I knew that Alpha and Beta had long 
my world long since been discontinued and you weren't even allowed to use them in tournament play. I thought oh. I thought they were years and years old. They were like two years old. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. And I tried buying a box of, of Unlimiteds or Revised, what was it, Revised, so the fourth series ever from Simon, a million comics. Yeah. Shout and out he, one million comics. One million really? comics from the day, man. He would always say, yeah, yeah, all right, I'm getting my next shipment next Tuesday. There oh, it is. The sheet. <laughs> he always did this. He yep. always did this move. And he, and he, he, he never did it. And I'll tell you what it was. It was because Wizards of the Coast was stopping production on those cards. They had very little left in stock, and they were only sending out one or two boxes to these little small stores. Yeah. And he knew that he had more value in opening it and selling it pack by pack yeah. than he did selling it to me as a box, even though he kept dragging me in. And inevitably, I'd be disappointed that I didn't get to buy the box, so I'd still shell out 20 or 30 bucks on buying packs at a higher rate than I would have paid had I bought the box. Yeah, you just bought the box. And, and then when where... I pulled a good card, he'd chintz me on the price and want to buy it right back off me. Scoundrel, man. And that's where I didn't get any boxes, although my wife bought me a box of Select. That's these guys. So I do have a box of these coming. Oh. With a guaranteed hit in the box. And now one of the procedures that I learned about on that Facebook group, Sports Card Nonsense, which has been completely awesome. I want to double back to a story about that group. Um, is that people will buy the box open packs until they find the one autograph or memorabilia yep. card. So they find it, say maybe they're lucky, they find it on the first pack. Then they'll put those five packs up for sale, knowing that you pulled the good Arguably, card. Yeah. So, so maybe there's nothing else left in those packs. And those are these packs right here. So no. that could be a problem. Okay, have you ever heard of a concept called a God deck or a God pack? So where there's like just i've heard of a hot pack which i assume it's probably the same probably just where filled with inserts just and filled with stuff. the rares or the best of them yeah. like oh my god what oh another one and another yeah. one right so i mean look here's the deal i know that maybe it's for older cards where some of the packaging is worn down a bit it's been in a certain wrong kind of lights so a sure. little more see-through pliable that kind of stuff i've seen people with magic cards take them and try to like do this with it for sure up in the light you can yep. see through yep. i know what the rare you can is weigh weigh the packs you can weigh the packs yeah see so here's, sometimes... so here's kind of what we're talking about and i throughout this journey i understand that autographs and memorabilia cards and numbered cards are the ones you're looking for so i was at the avondale and they have this random pack of whatever cards it's hockey and uh, it says it comes with a jersey or an autograph card. And you can tell that it's in there because of that thick one. So you can see that thick one in there. So there's definitely, most likely, a piece of a game-worn jersey in there. Now, chances are it's of a player nobody's ever heard of. But I wanted to leave with something. And to be sure that we did, I bought two of those. And they're not easy to find. These? Yeah. The Avondales are constantly sold out. There's only right. been, there was one in a basket with a bunch of Pokemon cards. And I was like, oh, how much is that? And the guy's like, four bucks. And I was like, four bucks for an autograph or memorabilia card. We're leaving with guaranteed two. And that's going to be two of these top loaders right off the bat. Gone. If they fit. It might not well, fit. Well, that fat one that, might not even that fit. That fat one might not fit. That's not even going to fit now. one of those you penny sleeves. That's going to go in loose. your trusty little box. Now, the problem I have with the trusty little box is, unless they've made them slightly larger... They should be slightly larger. Because they don't, they don't fit with the penny sleeves. That's my problem. So they should be slightly larger. I agree. So let's talk about some of these cards. Can I just say right off the, right off the hop? Yeah. This one intrigues me a lot. I got that one for one penny. Literally a penny? Literally one penny. So here's what I did. Wait, I can't remember if it was this iteration of the video or the last one where I talked about not being able to find packs of cards. Somebody suggested Dolly, St. Catharines, and M&L in the falls here. And uh, Dollar Tree, which is where all of these gravity box packs came from. So that's exciting. But uh, I was buying packs and I was like, oh, $3.99, pack of football cards, that's not bad. But then it was gonna cost me 17 bucks to ship it here from the States and that's bad business. So I had to specifically seek out Canadian sellers and the shipping would be like 350. And then if I'm buying one pack, I might as well buy 
a bunch of packs, yeah, put them in a sure. box, combine the shipping, so it's now 10 bucks to ship the pack of, you know, six to eight packs instead of just the one pack. So there's a man out there from eBay who would, he's, he hates my guts. I got that pack for one penny. I got one of these packs for 30 cents. A bunch of the absolutes I got for under a buck. What year is this? I don't know. It's called wild card. Either 2022 or 2021. Because everything, everything I got, I believe, was from that era. Right? College fall. Yes. So are we talking Brock Purdy, maybe? I think earlier than that. I think we might be talking Herbert. Uh, oh. Maybe Burrow. Was it Joey Burrows? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't think. I think Allen was. Jalen Hurts, maybe? Yeah, maybe a Hurts. Guys like. Uh, we don't even have our, 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 our years right for rookies and that kind of stuff. No, so we're, we're going to all... talk a little bit about it before we get to opening. This is like strap in. We're journeying back. We're here for the long haul. This is going to be a little bit. Like, we're just going to let it run. Stuff. And if it's terrible, you'll know. If the video's longer than half hour, you'll know we were good. If the video's less than half hour, we, gonna were, be good. we were terrible and the law got caught. <laughs> well, okay, look. So. I was going through some hockey cards last night. But at the end of the video, I promise right. we are going to open these Marvel cards, this one stray pack of wrestling cards, and this one random That's pack of Star Wars. Look, you can get an exclusive Adam Driver autograph card. It could be in here. We're going to need a top loader. Maybe two. That's the Put guy. a penny sleeve inside the top loader. The guy that played Kylo Ren. Oh yeah, you have to sleeve it before you put it in the top loader. Wait, what? You gotta use both. You have to use both? Yeah, otherwise they'll crucify you on the internet. I put a Pat Lafontaine 1986 Okichi in a top loader with no uh, sleeve on it. See, it would have been a nine, now it's a four. <laughs> I don't know though. Well, okay, so the only cards I'm putting in those, those like sheet protectors, you know what I'm talking about, the nines? The nine, right? I can't remember, nine frame, nine panel. Whatever, like yeah, nine, I'm putting cards that are PSA graded tens, um, twenty bucks or higher. Okay, twenty bucks or higher. That's how you're separating them to but, make your decisions. Yeah. And if I found one that was like seventeen dollars, I would I would throw it in. Right? There's got to be like a you know a little buffer on the low yeah, side. Yeah, maybe of that like thing. a name you recognize. Right. It's yeah. But if there was like seven dollars, nah. I'm going to take out, so there's some hockey, we were talking about that rookie, uh, and I know I've got the name wrong, I know his name isn't Comet Richard. <laughs> nope, not at all. And I also think that these aren't the correct packs, because his rookie is For not who? out yet. Connor Bedard? Connor Bedard. No, his rookie's coming out this year. And there I'm, are, I'm however, excited. some inserts of the guys in their Olympic jerseys and stuff like that. He did have and a Team Canada is, jersey. Yeah, he may be in there. So whatever. Let that, me see that. That may have been uh, a few dollars down the toilet. But when you started talking about that guy, I was like, Connor oh. Bedard, man. And we talked about these randos from Avondale. We're probably going to save them till the very end. I think these are worth something because redeem. look at that. They're, they're, they're tagging them with anti-theft devices at shoppers. That's true. It lowers not, the value of the pack. They're not messing around. Uh, two bucks. That's not bad. I'm chasing Connor Bedard. I'm chasing Comet Richard. I'm telling you, man. Connor Bedard. When that, uh, so I asked the guy at the store. He says Upper Deck will release. He thinks, anyways, Upper Deck will release. Um, Series one in November. Okay. And, and series in two there. sometime in like February. He thinks for some reason he'd be in series two. And for some reason in my head, I think series two is worse than series one. If you're so good, why weren't you in series one? That's and that's true. where I had the debate between do I buy two boxes of series one yeah. or do I buy a box of series one and a box of series two? Knowing that there's an extended box in the end as well. I don't really care about that. But I went through that, uh, that card site. Yeah. And I, I filtered it by PSA 10s, mm -hmm. and I just went through thinking, all right, series one, series one, series two, series one, and arguably in the in like the first 20 cards, there's more series one than series two, but then it kind of balances out in like the next 20 cards, more series two than series one. The prices get a little closer together in those ranges, and then I'm thinking, all right, well, the most expensive card is Matt. Beignets or something like that. I don't even know his name, but it's just like $1,500. Uh -huh. It's crazy. Yeah. 
So worth taking a shot. And that's right. where your like your forty dollars or you're like forty dollars in Canada. Some of y'all in the states are loving it. They do like twenty dollar deals. If you submit ten, you get it for nineteen bucks or something like that. As long as it's a break, I'm down with a break. Not, yeah, it's not bad. But uh, but here, like I went to the sports card shop. I asked the guy. He's like, yeah, we do it. It's forty bucks a card shipped and all of that. And I'm like, oh my god. So you gotta you know you gotta look at the risk reward and all. But that. then it makes no sense. Even even though. Even if you can it's say, difficult. all right, I've got 10 cards. Um, they're all nine and a halfs, nine and a halfs and tens. They're all gonna come back gem mint. Yeah. When they do, they're all 60 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Then you need someone to buy that off. Yeah, it's not liquid. Right? So even it's if tough. it's $20 more, it doesn't seem reasonable yet. No, it's gotta be like, you wanna take a big swing. You want, you. And that's where we're looking at Don't some of these. Don't you just wait? Don't you wait until or you the can, cards yeah, you have? You can sit like, on oh, it for sure. You can sit on it. Like I got two Pavel Bure's. Yeah, it depends. And they're your... PSA ten at I don't know sixty eight bucks, which is not huge or anything. But I have two of them because back in the day it was maybe more of a common card. But he was a good yeah. player. I'll, I'll keep two yeah. Pavel Bure's. Hall of Famer. I would think so. All the famers are guys too that they're, you know, even That's their true. base card are them. worth, and their base card in a gem mint. Again, but it's his like, rookie card. I have two of his rookie okay, cards. Okay, so yeah. But they're so only that about could be huge. And then to the right guy, because you're talking, when you're talking about a 10, you're talking about a flawless item. There is no better. That's not a collection filler. That's not, that's a prized yeah. piece of your collection, whether it's a comic book, whether it's a whatever. So 9.8 for comics. It doesn't get any better than that. 9.8? That's the flawless comic book. That's if a high you, bar. If you get a nine, nine or a 10, it doesn't even matter what book it is, that's worth $200 immediately. Just because- Really? Yeah, it, it, immediately. Because pe people will just collect tens of comics. Cards is a little bit different. But either way, that flawless 10, if Pavel, if you're a Pavel Bure guy, if you are yeah, Pavel true. Bure, yeah. And that's happened in the group. People have been cut, like lesser known baseball players and somebody was like- They would oh, buy their own so cards? They bought their own card. Or, right. a, or a family member bought the card, like the same last name. They had receipts and stuff. Like they showed, they showed. You can like <laughs> take a picture of the guy yourself on the bat. <laughs> one of true. one, man. So let's talk about some of this. Let's we talk. Cleared, we cleared off the hockey. This is, I thought all, there was, this is all football? It's all football on here now. We got the four that we're going to do at the end of this just for practice, separated and over here. We'll put those in the, the maybe pile. We got the supplies over here off to the side. We got a beverage. We got all these things. I'm going to start with this score because I have a funny anecdote about it. I was watching a guy open packs. He went and bought 25 different packs of 2022 football cards. Okay. So all of these were in there all the 2022 stuff. And he made the comment, he opened the score first, the score pack that he had and went, well, let's get score out of the way. And then opened it immediately and just put it all off to the side. And I'm sitting here looking at my pile and I'm like, we have the most score, the most scores, the most cards. There's okay. So 40, 80, 120, 160, uh, 165, 170 and 22 192 scorecards now i don't really know what the chases are if there are any and that could be why okay randomly inserted cards base gold so parallels i think okay and we we talked about it in the other the other iteration but they'll make the card with the picture and that's the base card and then they'll put the same card but it'll have a border of a certain color and that's a parallel so that's people, worth more. Keep, yes, a little bit more. So people will try if it's their favorite player to get the rainbow. It's called. They want to have all the colors of the How same. How many card. of these parallels are there? Hundreds. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Now, maybe not hundreds, but there's dozens and dozens. Like I've seen the pictures, and it's just like 40, 50 cards, or each one slightly different. So you and get, so then are the colors of the parallels? Do they rank them in, in they're, rare to they're common ranked, as well? Yeah, rarity. Oh, so God. like even some. So we're going to open some cards, and we're going to be like, oh shit, look at that! It's got like holographic foil on the side. Like it's a sick looking card, but then they pass it like it's called a base insert and they just shove it in a pile it gets but for us like we're putting that bad boy in the top oh, absolutely right 
and there's only 25. We could get 25 cards out of these. How many we get? 192. The more I think okay. about it, the more you're right. This isn't enough top loaders. If you say if you say 10% of 192, you're talking 19.2 cards, round down to 19 cards. Then someone's going to say, look, 10% is not going to be reasonable. You got to go down to 5%. You're going to talk Still. nine to ten cards yeah just in there and we're talking i know from the little bit of dipping my toe back in rookie quarterbacks big that's where the the money rookie is cards. that's where the good one is and to me also rookie cards like good receivers they got like, kickers uh jamar chase no i don't i didn't see anything about no rookie kickers kickers, Are kickers a big deal they, they, they score the, the most points on the team they do somebody pulled nobody an adam genetieri autograph card and he was getting dragged in the facebook group until someone was like that guy scored more points than you know whoever a lot of a lot of guys like that's the greatest kicker of all time he just pulled his autograph like that's why right. are you upset like about you're that? upset about that people were like i'll give kicker? you 300 dollars for that right now no, give it to me so that's the score. We got a big pile of that. We're gonna dissect this table a little bit before we get started. I uh, think we should go through this whole pack, like this whole tabletop, right? Yeah. Why and not? then we hit a pause, get a little refresh. For sure. For sure. And then dive in because yeah. this is just. I uh, can just tell you. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't own any of these cards, by the way. He's he's procured all, all of these I, things. I a little bit. Um, it's exciting for me. Just the, the possibilities of like what you're gonna pull. We're both football fans, right? We play fantasy, we watch a lot of the games, we talk about football, we gamble on football, we're like, we know what we're doing when it comes to football. We're gonna have I a podcast so. coming we up, hopefully, for this fantasy new season. Football for, right? Yeah, this, fantasy, this would be a good betting, meeting. gambling podcast. And we'll keep tabs definitely on. Definitely follow us, because definitely we really don't know what we're, I mean, we know what we're talking about. We haven't ironed it out quite but yet, But it's that right? same cliche is there's a reason why they play the games. Like when you right. look at the list of games, you're like, oh, okay, uh, Giants, you know, Bills, Cleveland. Right. Like it, seems, yeah. it seems so easy when On you're paper. going down well, the Well, because they give you the numbers. You're swayed by the numbers. Seven and a half? Yeah, I'll yeah. give I'll give Cincy seven and a half over the Jags. Yeah. And somehow it's 28-3. Yeah, and then you're screwed, so you it's know. a mess. So when I was looking for cards, somebody suggested Dollar Tree. I found all of these. This is uh, almost a hundred cards so alone. Five bucks a card a pack, right? No, they were a dollar fifty. No, 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 no. But I sorry, five cards. Five in each pack. cards a pack. Yes. You have nineteen of those packs. Yes. Plus all right. a, a cello pack here. So in those, we're looking for press proof blue parallels, which I believe is slightly better than in these ones. We're looking for green parallels. I don't know. I could be wrong. So you've got 95 cards there and 30 cards here. You've got 125 cards. Of the Don Russ. Of the Don Russ. I like Don Russ. Too. I like Don Russ too. I gotta tell you, I like them. These old baseball. school uh, baseball cards that I've been looking at. Don Russ 86, Don Russ 88, 89. Nice looking cards. So they're nice looking cards. They've held up well. The edges are a little faded. The corners are not bad. So let's... Uh, but they seem to hold a better price when you compare them to some other. Okay. Is Maybe that vintage? Is that vintage '86? Is that vintage? Yeah, it is now. What 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 classifies something as vintage? How many years? Twenty. I think it's twenty. Yeah. At the most, thirty. Right. Here are. 2022 select draft picks. Now these ones, I had other bidders. I didn't get these for a penny. That's for sure. There were like six or seven of us bidding on packs of these. And my wife went on Amazon, discovered they sold football cards and picked out a box. And she's she picked out a box of this. And she's like, I hope those are okay. And I'm like, are you kidding? Like those were the ones I kind of had to fight for. What's on a either. box cost? I don't know. In the $50, like a blaster box. So I, think so I thought a blaster box was area, just a smaller box when you it compare has like the number six, of... six packs, I think, in it. Six packs like this. When we were kids, you just go to the store and pick up six packs. Yeah. Buying boxes was never something I that ever considered That was never an option. Kid. I didn't even oh, know you no. could. No, that's true. Because the box was always open. It was on the shelf. You just walked in and threw them on the and counter. And there's the one box hit, of course, that you're looking right, for. Right, always. So now that's something that I was weary of, and like, I know that all these packs came from a box where someone likely already pulled the box hit and then sold the rest of the pack. So we'll see how that plays out. Now the wording is tricky because it's always on average one per box. Oh, I know. So if you well, don't get reading. one, there's that's nothing the you average. can do. And you also, you could get three. 
Okay, so before we move on, your theory of those are the leftovers after someone's already pulled the one card you're looking for will sell the rest. Yes. Okay. If you buy that, if you buy the booster pack box, okay, you're paying whatever price you're paying. Yep. Arguably, you would make more money if you were to open that box and then were actually able to sell the individual packs. You'd make more money. Yeah. Right? Probably, yeah. So why don't you think that someone just bought a box of those specifically to make more money by opening it that and selling could be individual the way. packs? That could be the Because that's how I would see way. it. For sure. I just was skeptical because everyone's I'm always a thief. skeptical. Everyone's there was a, a guy, I saw a short on YouTube of a guy at Walmart who was stocking the shelves with the cards and a customer there was calling him out because he didn't put any, it was that select, those select packs. He didn't put any of the boxes out. He just put them aside and bought them. And then it Ooh. turned out that the guy was a card dealer. He was at the shows and stuff. And this guy saw him and was like, hey, you, like there's never cards here. Oh. So he waited until the guy was stocking the shelves. He put all the baseball, all everything else out and then left the boxes of select on his cart and he was just gonna buy them. And then the guy shoved a camera in his face and was like, what are you doing? You're a dealer. And it was embarrassing for that's that man. That's justice, man. Yeah, that is justice. But that's the kind that's of stuff it's that's smart, happening. Though. Why wouldn't yeah. you? Or there's pictures. I'll, I'll try and grab a couple right. and add them to the video of a Walmart shelf with like, the boxes are all opened. And sometimes there's just loose cards on the shelf. Like someone has opened that, opened the packs, rooted through, uh, straight up stole the the hit from the box, and then left all the base cards. And maybe took. Do you take the rookies? Like you're on a time crunch. Would you take the good rookies as well? Well, I mean, why not just take the pack? It's true, I guess. I mean, listen, I'll admit that I go into K and Tire and I open things up and I test them out. Yeah, yeah. You like, I literally went over and I picked a up a, like a bolt cutter and then I went over to the bolt section and I started snipping bolts. I wanted to make sure that it, it, it worked. It, I put it back. It didn't work too well. <laughs> There's a bunch of broken <laughs> bolts on the ground. <laughs> but still, <laughs> yeah. you know, where am I going to test this at? At home and then drive all the way yeah, back? Yeah, you're going to get it no. all the way home find out it isn't coming. And I'm not low things. enough to start stealing that kind of stuff because that's no, crazy. I mean, I, every up once stealing. in a while you forget you about like the you toilet can... paper bag on the bottom of the shopping cart and you're already in the parking lot and you're like, well, I'm not going back in. No, you're not going back in. If so, they missed but... it, that's on them. <laughs> 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 There's somebody on eBay, a seller from Canada, who is who hates my guts. Your guts? Because I got a ton of like, I got a couple of I was going to say, I wanted to look at these next. These absolutes for thirty cents a pack, and then these I, I can't remember exactly. Like what are they? What are like these? Super cheap. So in these, Russell Wilson has a Bronco. I believe the absolutes are where you can pull. It's either the downtowns or the kabooms. I remember absolute being one. Those are the big ones. The downtowns and the kabooms. Apparently. Doesn't it say on here uh, like? So yeah, it's like under the flap. You got to get right in and under the Rain flap. Rain answered card green base. RWB kaleidoscope base reds or mosaic blue diamonds green waves gold star purple rain black galaxy numbered 499 to 1 I'm looking for all of that I don't even care you can drag me and drag us in the comments because we don't know what we're looking for specifically and there's what's called base inserts which to me is an oxymoron we're looking for inserts to fill up these top loaders and there's definitely gonna be cards that we're gonna pop for hard and people watching are gonna be like, that's literally a 50 cent card. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you where my where one of my big my big things is gonna come in. There are gonna be players in here who are kind of worthless, right? For all our Essentially sake. worthless. We're gonna have a big stack but, of worthless, but, worthless cards. They've produced quite well in fantasy. Yeah. So that and to me, like when we get into, like let's, let's talk about what's a hit for us for this okay. rip specifically. Okay. Now a hit to me isn't a card that's over $50. Of course, that's is a, a hit. Yeah, that's 50, definitely that's the a threshold, hit. 50 but that's, that's some people's threshold in that Facebook group, the sports card nonsense, which you should join because it's pretty funny. Guys dragging they, each other, calling each do other Do they jerks. say 50 graded 10 or 50 ungraded? No, just $50. If it's $50 raw, obviously. How many cards are $50 raw? Because 
I'm sure there's lots. Are I'll there? Get into some of those one of ones. Because all of the like old cards I have are numbered are, cards. I mean, a good no, card the, ungraded is like a buck forty-seven. It's the curse of our age and our era. All those cards you bought as a kid, they, they made millions. Of them. Yeah, okay, but that's not, how many pe how many people actually kept them? Who didn't put them in their spokes of their bicycles? 100%. Who didn't trade them that's for your the stick tens. of gum? That's why the tens go for premium. And of everything the old else, cards. because everybody has the card, just nobody has it. So you're telling me if I get Joe Blow nobody card. from Don Russ, 87, who plays on the Milwaukee Brewers. Out of 10? Out of 10. You're telling me someone out there is like, yeah, I want that I, guy. I bet somebody would buy it. Because you got to think But how of long does it take to find that guy? That's the other problem. Yeah, for mean. sure. For sure. But there's a guy, because think of all the different combinations of stuff you could collect. You could be collecting... Oh my God, the 87 Brewers, man. I grew up watching them and I want every single 87 Brewer in a Gem Mint 10 case for a collection on my wall. You're the only guy out there with a Gem Mint. Now here's where it could be good. There's a couple guys who want the 87 <sighs> Brewers team all in Gem Mint. You're yeah. the only guy with the 10 Mint, you know, so there's little like JJ. Three of us in North America one of whom has the card to gotta, sell yeah, to two others. Connect. How am I supposed to find them? I, with Without hitting a big score to me, it's going to take you a lot of time to dink and dunk my, making money from sports cards. Right. That's my take on it. I've I, been to some toy shows and there's always a sports card guy. Okay, so then what does age do? Because let's say I've had these cards for 31 years. Let's say in 31 more years, I'm going to be 73. What does 31 more years do? Realistically, for me, that's it's it's strong logic. It makes sense. But at this stage, everybody's doing the same thing. You're not a kid anymore. You're not putting them in your bike spokes. No. You're not putting them in the basement where it could but flood. But I'm also not buying them anymore. No. I'm not buying an 87 Don Russ or 91 no. scores. No. So if you keep them for another 30 years, there's going to be some that get lost to fire. So that's going to, what, make the 80 cent card. It's going to go up to $1.60 and you've got to lug it around <laughs> for the rest of your life. You know, like it, hand that it, down, it depends. Man. Yeah, or, or hand it down for sure. I read and through the group I saw too, a lot of people that don't want the overflow of base cards, just put them in bags and donate them to sick kids or whatever neighborhood kids yeah but here you are telling me that if i get joe blow at a 10 someone's gonna pay me well, 200 yeah. bucks for it i mean it. but you can look at it. maybe it's off centered you know? or whatever <laughs> you're looking at it and you can tell what's what's next here well i like i like the i mean i'm intrigued by the sort of the, the single solo the variety packs. yeah yeah right you got a couple of those you got a couple of these yeah I mean, we're, it's a little more it, enticing because you can okay, look at all. Okay, let's talk this right now. Okay. So, what's up with the baby blue color and the silver? Chronicles football draft picks. And Jamar then Chase, Mac Jones. Football. So and these are college guys those here. Those are the college guys. And I learned that in across all sports, the college uniform is less desirable than the team uniform. Say that again. The college, the picture of the player in their college uniform is actually less desirable than a rookie card of them in their pro jersey and uniform. Which to me was, I, th I thought it would be the other way. Because it feels like those cards would I be think, more rare. Not to say that there's not a market for it. I think they might print more of these. Of the draft ones? Of the draft ones, Maybe. yeah. Maybe. And as I'm looking here... And you're like every card in Mac there is Jones. a rookie card. That's where we're looking for that Zach year. Wilson. I mean, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. You're on the bench now. Rogers. Is there. But that's a guy though who you're in a. Now that's a guy that I would maybe go after a single of. Zach Wilson. Yeah, because right now you could get Zach Wilson's rookie card for what a dollar. You're giving it away for a dollar. Who's paying a dollar for Zach Wilson? And now we're Wilson? we're going to get in before the end of the video. We're going to take a look through some singles that I bought, guys. I'm hoping to get out of these packs and just a little bit of the research that I did. But in those, yeah, those are some of the only 2021. So like, we're definitely looking for Burrow and Mac Jones. Yeah, Jamar Chase. That'd be a big one. Is that his Jamar rookie Chase? season? Yeah. Is that I, his rookie season? Uh, yes. No, he's the following year. He's a 2022. So that's one thing I, I want to know before we open these packs. Like, even if we just look it up on a phone, like, who, who's who the rookie class? For. Yeah. The rookie class. Yeah. So that's, yeah. 
Because I, I, I bet you there, there's there's rookies that were Herbert, not. Justin Herbert is a big one. But I want rookies that were were not made priority on a card. Yeah. Like star rookies, right? Yeah. Just another rookie who actually had yeah, star rookie campaigns. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Uh, the big ones from 22, we're looking for Brock Purdy and Kenny Pickett. That's these, by the way, these, these, these Chronicle packs. Chronicles. It's exciting. It's very cool. I like that. So up next, we got uh, Panini Contenders. So we got a lot of those. 2022. Yeah, 2022. How many? Yeah, quite high. a few of those. Uh, 22, 44, 66, and 16, nice. 76. So 80, over 80 cards. 82 What's cards. 82 cards of contenders. You do a lot of cards, man. Oh, Chris Olave. That's another one we're looking for. Oh, that guy in St. Uh, or St. Louis. New Orleans. Yeah. New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. What the hell? I don't know where we Saints both, came we from. We both did that. Because their, their logo looked right the Saints. Yes. Wow. That's weird, right? So but I like of, that. A bunch of that product, yeah. Uh, the Don Russ over here. Don Russ Elite. Uh, we're looking for exclusive pink parallels. Okay, okay. And then some blitz. And each one comes with some kind of a code. I don't know what kid reporters. I mean, I Four guess you, cards. Would, you would win a chance to go to the Super Bowl. That's already passed. There's also panini points. They give that out. Like popsicle you'll get, points? Yeah, but you'll get like a card and it'll just say 250 panini points. So now you got to go to the website, put your points on. And you can collect digital cards, which are basically like yeah, NFTs. Yeah, download the Blitz app to get free digital packs. Yeah. And what now, is that? So you those, trade those now? You can trade them, and basically you're trying to compile stuff like all the running backs or the whole team of some, somebody or the rookie class. But it's not as or, crazy as like... you'll get bonus. Those, what are those, EFTs? Where NFTs, like, that's NFTs? exactly what it is. Is that what we're talking about? That's Just exactly a digital what gift? Now, people were crapping all over it in the like Facebook Rogers? group, but I was a little bit intrigued because it doesn't take up space and you are selling them back and forth with people and some of them were going for big money. Now, a lot of the people were upset because it seems disingenuous. You post a picture of the card and you're like, oh, buy this card. And then in the description, to be fair, every single one has said you are not buying a card. Right. You are buying a JPEG. Right. You are buying the, you know, the card that goes with that, the NFT card. And people were bidding hundreds of dollars on the right guys. So I'm going to keep all that and go through sure, all that. And we'll do a follow-up and see how that went. I'm excited about these, though. 2022 pink parallels. Hopefully. Can we pause this for a minute? Yeah. Pause. So you want to talk rookies that we're looking for in this season. We want, we want to discern the rookie class of the cards so we know, you know, who we're looking for. Well, 2021, right? Who's rookie 2021? Justin Herbert? Justin Herbert, Mac Jones. Those, I think, are the big ones. I'm personally looking for a Bailey Zappi. Who? That guy in St. Louis? No, the backup in New England. Okay. The guy who came in when Mac Jones was hurt and tore it up for three games. Did he tear it up? Yeah, he tore it up for three games. He was really good. I think your dog's eating something. He's got... Uh, or is this a paper thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, okay, we so Zappi, though... But as, I swear as he was a, a kicker. Handcuff, like as a handcuff to uh, not, Mac Jones. Not fantasy. You're not going to be doing that. No, I don't want him on my fantasy team. But, but if they but got a card for him, then, then now I these, mean, these, are backups getting cards? I'm talking a scenario of buy low, sell high. Now a That's guy what gambling who, is, of right? Course, a guy who could potentially be something. Because I'm not buying a guy who's already, like I'm not going to go buy Patrick Mahomes cards. No. I, for one, I can't afford it. But what if you okay? So what if you pull Patty Mahomes? Well, I put that aside. A okay, base, so tell me this. Patrick so Mahomes. 2022 Super Bowl winning quarterback. Yeah. Does that count for anything? Yeah, I would assume the right? base card there Kelsey? would be worth a dollar to the everything else is ten cents and a quarter. Let me ask you this. Maybe Kelsey. Yeah. Um, the superstars, the elite. Those are the base cards we're looking for. What happens to a player? Or inserts we're looking for too. Is okay. So is Rogers' first card in a Jets jersey worth something? I would assume. And maybe twenty. What if, years, what if you get traded? Years. Okay, so Devonte Adams is his first card as a as a Raider or something. Sure. And if you get traded I, mid-season, I so. yeah. Do they have a card for you in your first team and then maybe a card for you in your second team? Series one, series two, where it comes out later. 
One of these packs That'd was, be uh, it's not this one, but one was a playoff pack. Like it was playoffs. Look here, playoffs. 2021 playoffs got oh. two on there. Wasn't he concussed? Oh, he didn't do it. Two at rookie cards. That's another one where you can In buy low and hope. Two uh, looks like would have been 2021 as well. Okay. So they that's, think he's going to be something big. He was good when he was upright. Now what's that about the illusions there? Uh, now this is, oh, this one. That one. I don't know. Only managed to scam one of these. So 2021 was also Justin Fields and Zach Wilson. Justin Fields. Okay. I think he's going to be something better than he is. I think he's stuck I, in I Chicago. I, I, I think agree. Chicago's terrible. And uh, when we take a look at some of the singles that I bought, you'll see. Here we go. Panini contenders and draft picks. Now, I have heard of the red cracked ice parallels that I think are pretty good. So I went a little bit out of my way to get that one. I had to bid against people in there. 2021, we're talking Trevor Lawrence. I'm not sold on Jack Trevor Lawrence. Jones. I mean, he was better this past season, but so, uh, maybe I'm just not sold on the Jaguars. And maybe like, that's what it is. I, I like the Patriots, so anything Mac Jones for me is going in the pro, the, the personal collection. He's not bad. I, I think they got a, the offensive coordinator was terrible and they're going to take the take the, the leash off him and let him go. I was going to say, I think it's starting to show maybe Bill Belichick isn't quite as good as Bell, Belichick seems. It's, it's starting to seem. When you got Tom slinging and balls like, over the place. I'm, I'm starting to turn the corner where I was right? like, in Bill we trust like 100% of the way. If he's got a feeling, like they're like, we don't have any receivers this year. No, but who like, are you throwing who, to? Who's, and he's like, we got it, don't worry. And to me, that's like, you got an undrafted Jamal Myers? Edelman type Jacoby. Jacoby, Jacoby Myers. right? Tyquan Thornton, he'll be a rookie card. Will be the best like guy that they have for. outside of Mac Jones is Stevenson. They're running back. Ramon Dre, I bought his rookie as a single. I, gonna, that, that's not bad. Into some of those guys. Yeah, and um, I thought there was somebody else I can. Uh, so Herbert, we'll be looking for in the like 2021 20, packs. Uh, the Zenith was pretty popular. I could only manage to get one, four cards per pack. That's crazy. So I assume there's some good inserts on here. Four good cards in a this. pack. It's way too small. It's way too small, but there's all kinds of inserts. Look at how small. I'll try and get it in. That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. This one has no writing on it whatsoever. It just says wild card animation. Got that pack for a penny. Name, image, likeness, Collegiate football inaugural release. The inaugural release. Watch it be soccer. Maybe you don't even open it. Just keep it. Just put it in a sleeve or whatever you do with these big packs. 100% packs. opening all of these. Uh, 100%. Packs. There's no that point. That cost Are you one kidding penny. Me? This, there's no. Yeah. One penny. Like, we'll do that one last and just, <laughs> and just see. It'll hold the juiciest of cards. One penny. Let's take a look at some of the singles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I got the box of magic cards, mm -hmm. I was so disappointed that it wasn't mint that I wanted to go open up the mint hockey cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what the fuck is that about? Like, if we find anything halfway decent in here, I'm going to be buying football cards for the rest of oh, my I life. Oh, I thought we were going to go to the casino. And conversely, <laughs> throw it on black. I don't know, spend money I don't Joe have. Burrows, 2021. Let's go. Black. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a man down. What was and this guy's Joe name? Burrow. Demarcus Hamill? What was his name? Demar Hamlin. Demar Hamlin. Oh my god, the story of the season. Just incredible. I mean, in tasteless fashion, that would be your card for Demar Hamlin. This, we're, we're about to go through, is a list of singles that I bought, because another piece of advice that came from that group was, if there's something you're looking for, just go buy it, rather than chase it, because you're going to keep buying boxes and packs. What's more fun? 100% opening it is more fun. And there's no rules. And I just did both, so like. Right, but the but the but like the, the, the added benefit of buying a box is that you'll get other good cards, great cards, while you're yeah. searching for the one that you want. Yes, absolutely. So that's awesome. That is awesome. But if you are looking for something specific, just go buy it. It's true. I, I did you that know, with the you magic card set. You got to do your math or whatever. Sure. I didn't know coming in. Somebody asked in the group. I was just looking for places to buy cards, and they're like, "Well, what kind of cards do you want?" I'm like, "I don't know." It's just cards. Like, well, are you gonna? 
Are you, are, open you, packs. are you looking to flip them? Are you looking to end Yeah, party? why do you want to buy cards? Are you looking to build a collection? Are you, and then just look at them like, I don't, well. So what are you doing? I don't cards? know. <laughs> uh, a big part of it was oh, content for YouTube. People like unboxing videos. And sure, there's probably true. a lot of other people in a similar position. They want to dip a toe into cards. And I thought, let's it's dip really a toe fun. in. It's really right, fun. A bunch of packs. And I just want to open the packs. No, you don't have to spend a ton of money. No. Do you? No, I don't think so. I mean, if you're, you can look around. Like I said, a lot of these I got, and I'm fairly savvy on eBay because of the comic books and yeah. pops and other collectibles. So, okay, like so. I'm aware to how to, I know how to mitigate shipping costs a little bit. Like, what's that? I can't remember specifically, but I never paid more than $8 for any of these packs. And the $8 ones were like the 40 card, you know, cello packs, those huge thick ones. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, I figure there's no point in spending, I don't even think you could spend 20 bucks and get anything. I think you need to be spending no. a couple hundred yeah, to a few you, hundred. So, and that's where, to me, if you're chasing something, just go buy it. So some things that I was going to personally keep an eye for, a Patriots fan, I'm going to look for Mac Jones. I'm going to look for uh, Purdy and Pickett, where the big, the speculator guys that sure. could have a really good season this year and all that. So for the 2022, that's what we're looking for. So I went back a couple more years and thought, who's a buy low? sell high guy just somebody with upside yeah mac jones is the perfect mac jones has upside of a guy who you can buy low right now and maybe he becomes epic maybe he goes to the hall of fame maybe i mean i don't think he will <laughs> maybe 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 i know you're a big pats guy but maybe that guy is I, justin fields people think like matt stafford's gonna go to the hall of fame matt stafford <laughs> I, come on i don't know throw another pick <laughs> So here's some guys that I got and some cards that I got. T. Higgins, rated rookie. I like him. That's his rookie? That's his rookie card. T. Higgins. Uh, there's a Jamar Chase rookie, rookie? card. That's going to be something. Now, none of these cards cost me more than a dollar. A piece? A piece. Until we get into, I got some top loader cards hidden over here. So, T. Higgins. It did go above a dollar. There's a Jamar That's Chase. This is, there we go. The Jamar Chase. Prestige. Here's a, here's a Justin Fields. Justin Fields rookie card. And like when we do that podcast this year, these are guys I'm going to be, we're going to do like oh, a Oh, we're going to be probably watch. drafting some of these guys. Like I would Absolutely. love to draft Jamar Chase. I mean, Justin Fields, maybe not so much. He's not a bad runner though. He burned oh, me a number of times. Yeah, 100%. Uh, if he... With his running. Well, look at his stats right here, right? What are these? Ohio State. They don't have his running stats. So I mean, that makes me look like an idiot. <laughs> Here's one that's interesting. CD Lamb, CD Lamb rookie, two, two CD Lamb rookies. But have a look, I was intrigued here. Silver foil and like a, like a rose gold. <laughs> is it the rose gold variant? Maybe it is bronze, I don't know. It's a bronze and silver situation. Well, they made them different for a reason. The one's better now than the other, now right? That's the Chronicles. So maybe. So that's like these. Uh, well, that's contended. These. Yeah. So that's. So there's kinda... red, right? That's that's the pack that we'll be opening up a little later on, right there. I mean, is that tell me that you're gonna have blue and this will be silver? Probably, yeah. Okay. So maybe that's a thing. But either way, CD Lamb, and to me, like, he, that's not even a buy low. He's going to be hey, good. He's gonna, if he's got a dollar, he's pretty good. And he's on my fantasy team. Probably going to be one of my keepers. But again, year. right? Is this like one of these mass produced cards that everybody's going to have? I honestly don't know. So you want to have. Probably like it's essentially a base card. But what's. What if there's, there's, what if there's the bronze, silver, between... gold, and then you have all three? Yeah, maybe. Right? That's got to be better than us having yeah. one on its own. So somebody could be looking for that bronze or silver. Mm -hmm. you know? 
maybe. Najee Harris. NFL debuts. Now that's Mosaic. I actually wasn't able to get any Mosaic oh. packs because they're fairly I read something after. about Mosaic on one of the back of these packs. Now look at the bend on this. Like that's not good, right? I think I think curves. I think curves can be flattened out. It's already a seven. You paid a dollar for a seven? <laughs> I paid a dollar for each. And now, okay, but what? here's a question though. Like, when you look at this, is it a dirty sleeve or is there a little? Oh, it's all on the sleeve always. Uh, if you want this card, make an offer in the comments. We'll let it go cheap. N double A. Okay. And... Under a hundred. Under a hundred. It's yours. And who's that? Uh, he Pat, was on my team. Pat Freermuth. Yeah, he was my tight end for a while. He, he bagged sure. me a couple TDs. He scored three TDs one season. I think yeah. he was on two games. I buy his rookie card for a dollar. I wouldn't buy his card. Nice card. I mean, this guy honestly, I. But again, it's the mosaic, right? Jacob Eason. I have no idea who that is. He's the backup in Indy, I guess. But I, I maybe threw a dollar away. Is that even a rookie card? What is that? It's a rookie card. They are, they are all marked. Now, okay, so which oh, is RC, really that's nice. helpful. Yeah, super helpful. Are you a rookie if you're a backup? Or are you a rookie when you become a starter? I don't know. I mean, in terms of the card, I think you're. I think if you're dressed, you if you're dressed in a 53 man yeah, roster, you're then you're uniform. a rookie. You, whether you play or you don't. Got a Clyde Edwards Hilaire rookie. God, that guy disappoints me so much. 100%, but he can bounce back. And this is a cool looking card. It is a cool card. I like the artwork on it. It's got the, the picture What's the in little emblem in the corner? That's the rookie card. Oh, on that, that side. Oh, that's just... I don't know. What brand is that? I don't know. But everything seems to be Panini, something or okay. other. Well, they're a big card company. I'm not. I've been looking and I found those old school Panini like ho hockey books with the sticker packs. Yeah. Still dirt cheap. Two fifty for the book and a dollar fifty nine for. Where'd you find that? Hockey Life. Toys R Us has them too. Nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna buy some of those for uh, Nate this season. There's a bronze Antonio? spoil. Antonio okay. Gibson. It's a good looking car. The colors match well. It is a nice. Even car. though the owner of that team's got fined sixty million dollars. Oh, it's all bad over there. Uh -huh. But that's a. Uh, I don't know. It's a. It's a speculation. Now check this one out. This is called. Uh, Oh, Panini Clear Vision. That's got to be worth more than. Well, and again, I got it out of the dollar bin. What Very do you mean the cool. dollar bin? You went to a store and I thumbed through a, a bunch of stuff. And thumbed through the bin, and the the, the <laughs> bin specifically was under twenty dollars. What does that mean? Everything under there's everything in the bin was under twenty bucks. And this was labeled as buck. If it, if it didn't have a price on it, it was a dollar. And I was like, oh. We talked about that though. We talked about getting a dollar a card. Yeah. Right? So in the booster box that I just bought, there's 516 cards. Okay. Because there's 15 cards in a pack and 36 packs. Yeah. Sick. So many fucking yeah, that's cards. Yeah, so many cards. Um, so a dollar a card, I paid $200 for the box. A buck a card, I'm up 316. Yeah. So dollar cards, that's a pretty good price. Oh, card sure, it's tough. tough. But if that card, but if that card there you know, is a dollar eighty, yeah. And someone's like, "Well, I know it's a dollar eighty, but I need it, so here's a yeah, dollar." I need the clear vision. So let's. It's taken a bit, so let's fire some through yeah. some of these. Jonathan Taylor. He's good. Rookie. rookie? He's pretty good. That's his rookie. Justin Jefferson. He's really good. Yeah. That's his rookie for a dollar. So I'm like, I can't, I don't want to pass these up. And no. you can drag us in the comments, but for a dollar for that rookie of a guy yeah. who's like already established. He wins you fantasy weeks. Yeah. I know that's not, doesn't translate to cards. There's another like the Hilaire, a Cam Akers. I guess I should be. That guy's hurt Cam. all the time. He is hurt a lot. Again, a lot of my comments are coming from like a fantasy standpoint. For sure. Gambling but again, a, a right? buy a low, card, right? maybe he bounces back and, and if he, does. he doesn't, it costs me a dollar. And by the time it was all said and done, I pulled 49 cards out of the dollar bin and he gave it to me for $40 at the shop. So, He's all like, right. I'll cut Even you better. a deal. Yeah. Even better. Not bad. Uh, there's another Jacob Eason. I was like, if I'm in for a dollar, I'm in for a couple bucks. Is he the starter? I can't remember. No, it was Matt he's... Ryan. Yeah. Matty Ice, who's more yeah. like a puddle these so, days. Yeah, he's a puddle. He's so awful. this guy, 
He's got to be. He could, now he is could that something? In. Is that like a bronze? Is uh maybe, maybe one of the parallels is something other than. And you got to keep an eye too, and we'll talk about it in like a few minutes for the look for the numbered cards because sometimes it's very like subtle. the one ofs, right? Yeah, J.K. Dobbins rookie of the same set. So that's the same. J.K. Dobbins. Them? Omegas. Omegas. Okay, so yeah, no, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's okay. And again, a guy who could be more than What that. series is, is all this from? Omega? They're all different. A lot of Omegas. So, okay. A little uh, bit of score just, in I'm here. We've got a bunch so, of stuff going on. Here. What year are these? 2020? They're all over. Like 2020 and up, though. Nothing's older than, say, Who is that? J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins. I'll, I'll fire through some of these while you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonathan Taylor, rookie card in the Omega again. Uh, Gabriel Davis in the Omega, receiver for the Bills. That I really, I just like him. So that's a hit for me. That's a player that I like. Now, what does so that, what does that J.K. Dollar. Dobbins look like? You just show me that one again. It's Taylor, where'd he go? Is he under, is he under, for a Raven. Is he under Taylor there? He's, uh, there he is. All right, I've seen two of that card looks like. Don't you? We've got the professional setup here. There's another Gabe Davis in that picture frame, like the Hilaire. Feels good for a dollar. Here's a Trey Lance, 2021 rookie, old school style card. Trey Lance could still turn it around. Here's another Trey Lance. I doubled down. It might not be Purdy. It might be Lance this year. Who knows? Now, my guy. Brandon Ayuk. I know you're a big Yeah, I like him. I like, like him. him. Yeah, I like him. In that $1 box, five Brandon Ayuk rookie cards of all different... What's... I like that. All different styles. That's the clear view, whatever it is. How do you spell that guy's last name? A-I-Y-U-K. Five different rookies of that guy. So $5 and really not even because I got the deal. A-I. A-I. Y-U-K. And this is the Omega, right? I think there's an Omega. What is that? What's the clear one I saw of him? Yeah, what's that one all about? Momentum? Another CD lamb, another CD lamb, another CD lamb. I was just in on CD lamb. Established guys for a dollar? I'm in. There's another Justin Fields for the Buckeyes. That's a nice looking card too. Flux. Panini Flux. One dollar. Hopefully Fields turns it around. There's another Justin Fields in his college uniform. There's one of those Chronicles cards. That's the Justin Fields. So like if I'm searching okay. for that, that's one I'd be happy to get. But if I didn't get it, I'd be a little disappointed. So I spent a dollar and got it. Um, I bought a whole bunch of Tom Brady cards. I'll put them at the end. We'll just fan them. Here's a Mac Jones rookie. Actually, two Mac Jones rookies that I got. Singles for a dollar. Buy low on Mac Jones. Here's a Julian Edelman card, just one of my favorites, a little foily. Um, Sam Ehlinger, quarterback for somebody, I don't know, I lost track, maybe he'll be cool. Here's a Jalen Hurts rookie card. Here's a Tua rookie card, maybe, maybe he does the things, I don't know. Jalen? Yeah, Tua. J Jaylen, Tua's good, Tua. he just needs to stop getting concussed. Justin Jefferson, another rookie card. Jordan Love in the Chronicles. Justin Herbert in the Chronicles. Two rookies. Somebody's got to pick up for Brett Favre. Or Aaron Rodgers. Wow. Brett Favre. <laughs> Brett. Here's a couple of Kyle Pitts rookie cards. He could turn it around. Why not? Mosaic. And then we got a Brady player of the day. Panini insert. We got a Brady Mosaic Super Bowl MVP, a Brady Gridiron Kings, a Brady Orange Foily number. I don't know. Is that a good one? The Orange the orange Mosaic? Is that a thing? Is it worth more than a dollar? Did I win? 
Like I got it for a dollar. Tell me, I made money. So all these, all these Tom Brady cards, one dollar a piece and kind of less. There's a Gronk with the green, with the green foil. Is that a good one? That looks like a really good one. Like if we found that, I'd put that in a top loader. Is that the company Mosaic? Is Mosaic, that what that is? Yeah. That's the that's the brand. No, Panini, Panini Mosaic, 2021. But I like Gronkowski, so that's going right in the personal collection. Here's another Tom Brady where his head looks massive. That should be worth something, just because of that massive head. And then we got a Tom Brady montage, a Tom Brady men in mastery, a Tom Brady behind the numbers. I like Brady. Uh, Jordan Love rookie card, Davis Mills rookie card. From Milo Houston? Houston. He could turn it around. Ramon. Houston can't turn it around though. Maybe. Davis Who'd Mills. you say you had? We'll keep an eye here. Davis Mills. No, no, no. From that, uh, before Davis Mills. Oh, in the mosaic. Uh, Jalen Hurts. Justin Fields. No. It was the guy just before the one you just rattled off. Before him. Oh. There's a bunch of brilliant mosaics. Well, Gronk. Gronk, okay. 2021 mosaic. It was kind of like a green and red. Uh, another Jordan Love, Ramon Dre Stevenson, because I think he might, he might could be a big deal. Damon Redondo, what's his name? Gronk? Redonde? <laughs> Gronk? Yeah, what card number was he? Do you remember? No, I don't. Okay, well that's... Oh, you're talking Ramon Dre. Ramon Dre. I got an Omron St. Brown at, uh, at my stepson's suggestion. God. Elite Series Rookies, Panini Optic. So we'll be cheering for him a little bit. And then here is a Tom Brady, any given Sunday, um, the Super Bowl score, I believe, 20 to 17, New England over the Rams. That's a cool card. There's for the so PC. many colors for all these cards right? and mosaic. Those are the parallels That's and all crazy. the different, like it's the same card, only this one's green and orange, and the one that you have is green and red, so the one you have is worthless, Jeez. and the one that I have is worth hundreds of dollars. It doesn't make any sense, so it's hard to get a beat. That's why when we look at 61 packs of football cards and we're not sure what we're looking for, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun ride that you're going to be able to watch if you like the video, comment, do all the social media things, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification buttons, because a lot of these packs are going to be opened as shorts, so we can spread the content around. Tell a friend, tell an enemy, check out me and the boys wrestling every Thursday on the channel and all the different things that go on. Check out our sponsor, www.420dna.com, because if it's in you, it should be on you just like it's on me, as well as HoldenRoadsCoffee.com, it's always fresh, it's never tired coffee with personality and the village global network because this could end up there too it, uh, it's dynamite content for what they're doing over there check out the village global network making the net work check out expose the north.com and uh check out share the shock.ca follow all the things the block's doing so when you're looking through a dollar bin and the same thing goes for comic books you're you're scamming the bin it's a fixed price Everything in the box is one price. Right. And you see from the top that if it's cards, some of them are in a top loader, you're like, oh, like immediately that's better. And same with comic books, if something's in the thicker mylar, it's a little more glossy, you're like, right. at some point, this card or this comic was worth enough that someone put it in the next tier encapsulation right. to keep it safe. It doesn't mean it's still worth that. Right. Now, would you factor in the price of the top loader into the car? Like, 25 Okay, for how much? Seven bucks. Seven bucks? <laughs> Is it a bad price? I don't Did know. Did I get took on top loaders? 25 we, for we seven bucks. We are in Canada, bucks. so before the American people are like, oh, yeah, what in the hell? Lot of people. You just paid double. <laughs> we are in Canada. So, seven bucks for how many? 25 So, we're talking 30 cents. 35 cents yeah no no I think that's just like an incremental cost to, to you the owner because you're like I don't have to put it in this yeah 
So maybe as the buyer, you're like, well, you kept it in this, so I'll give you a couple extra nickels. Or something. But either in when I'm looking through the dollar box and I see things in top, that's loaders, bonus. I'm like, oh my god. So let's go through. I grabbed a bunch. Let me ask this: Is there ever a moment where there's a top loader that's worth more than the card that's inside the top loader? Hundred percent. So then you get rid that's of the card, put like, it in a better card. What I'm, what I'm, You've that's got <laughs> what I'm holding, but. I again I've done a little bit of research, dipped a toe, watched some people open packs and saw what they got excited about. We know it's numbered cards, it's cards with autographs, cards with jersey patches. And it stands out. Anything that stands out right. kind of. But not from a visual standpoint. We're definitely going to open cards and we're gonna be like, look at this card, this is crazy. <laughs> like it's all foil. Or the ones with the clear, the clear vision. That, um, yeah. The I, I mean... Yeah. Like how do you make that for, you know? How is it not $400? Exactly. So let's have a look at some of these top loaded cards I got. Uh, Mac Jones. What's uh, up with the blue felt? My house. With tape. That's the tape on it from the shipping. You're always supposed okay. to tape your, your top loaders so that the card can't wiggle its way out or whatever. Now that's a dollar. I, I don't know, that looks like like you would want that in the top loader to me. Well, it's not just him on the field. Yeah. Right? It's, it's got the Someone nice out of the way to... and all that. Uh, it's not numbered or anything like that. Just, a, I guess, a base insert. Um, now, I've got a Jamar Chase. Now, I splurged five five dollars you paid sticker price i paid sticker price Jeez. for this bad boy five dollars this is the select from lsu that the box i have a box coming that of my LSUs? wife got me of select so that's this style of cards we got a couple of those packs but there's the jamar chase i believe it's just the base card i don't think the silver means anything that's just the base card like, it's a good looking a card really nice looking card Clearly, he played well when he was at LSU. Yeah, Jamar Chase, you know, Jamar And that's Chase. not his rookie card, right? His rookie card, his in the rookie NFL, card. But in the NFL, but he's his in card's college better. jersey, so it's, yeah, it's not as desirable. Well, it says rookie card, but that can't be because he's like a senior at college. Yeah. So it's tore it up. Either way. Okay. Uh, I was after a Desmond Ritter. Now, this is a select insert. Who is this guy? Called on the quarterback for Atlanta. He was terrible last year. Right? Oh. Well, not terrible, but... That card says he's on fire. Upside. Yeah, on Fuego insert, a rookie of Desmond Ritter uh, for $5. Because I was looking for one online, and I couldn't find one that I didn't have to have shipped. It was the shipping that was the killer. That kills you, yeah. It was 100%. 2 or $3, and then 15 to ship it. And I just no. can't... Why? No. can't do it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, James Cook. The brother of Dalvin. Yeah, Cook. he's interesting. I'll... Still got the tape on it. Uh, this is a James Cook rookie from the Contenders. The design. We have some of them. Yeah, right here. Some of them are in there. Yeah. And that's a rookie of the year. College football? Like it being here? Is that a Bills jersey? It's a Bills jersey. So yeah. it's going to be here. These are all college. Well, whatever. I don't know. Some kind of contenders thing. Right? But now it looks like he was chasing rookie of the year. Well, he didn't win rookie of the year. The card would probably be worth more if he was sophomore of the year. One rookie of the year. But either way, James Cook rookie card. Brother of Dalvin. Got upside, yeah. Right? There's a Justin Fields clear view. See, those are, I've never seen cards like that. Those are kind of cool. Yeah, they're nice. Nice looking cards. Justin Fields is on the list. Right? No stats, though. What do you mean on the list? He's on my list of guys oh, that you I want think to turn guys. it around. Mac Jones, Justin Fields. See, you want the turn it around Andy guys. Jones. I think you want the guys that are just starting to turn it up. Oh, yeah, I'll take those guys too. Right? You know, but these were the guys that I thought I'd spend a buck. Like, what year was uh, Jalen Hurts a rookie? 21? I want to say 2020. Oh, let me look that up. Okay. Now, here is where it started to get interesting in the bin, okay? And I'm flipping oh, through the right. bin. I'm flipping through the bin. And the whole dipping my toe back into cards, it's 
autograph cards, memorabilia cards, and numbered cards. So of 500, of 1,000, of 20, right. of what? All the way down. You want those. I'm flipping through the dollar bin. Is that Russell? And this is Travis Homer. I don't know who that is. And like Travis Homer? You don't know Travis Homer? No. Do you know who he is? Yeah, he plays for Seattle. Okay, but where, did you know that before you yeah. looked at all his cards and all that? Before? Yeah. <laughs> so he's the guy behind Rashad Penny and okay. Chris Carson. So could he emerge as a guy? No. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, here I am standing in the shop. I'm coming. He out. might. What do I know? I'm walking out of the shop with an autograph card, and those are the. the that's what that's I'm his autograph. For. That's his autograph. I believe it's on a sticker placed on the card. Well, his shoe is sort of over top of that sticker. Well, that's true. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is is this? That's not an on card autograph, right? Like, you what'd you pay for? That? A Buck? dollar. And I mean, for even, a dollar, like, for a dollar, I don't know who the guy is. But the, it's, okay, 2019. So Someone gives you a buck 50 for that? Take it. Still in the league somewhere, maybe. Right? Uh, again, I'll, 50, but on the surface. That's an autograph. <laughs> but on the surface, though, you're like, what's 50 cents? But if you do that 800 times. That's what I'm saying. It's four bucks. And that's where the dink and dunk. If you have the time to dink and dunk. So you sell lots. Yeah. Lots of lots. Now, you're here. Good I, I'm flipping through and I see a numbered card and this is where this is a good example. Like a one of. Number 18 of 299. Ooh. Michael Thomas Origins card, the New Orleans Saints. And now we'll try and get it in there. If I put it in the glare, you can really see it. But if you're flipping through super quick, you might not see that on there. Sometimes it's on the back. So you got, and it could be anything, numbered one of one, or one of whatever. Number 18 of 299. There's only 299 people that have that card, and I think that's cool. All right, so if you have number one, I mean, aside from being the first printed version, if maybe that's the only thing that's, that actually makes it stand out. Because this is the exact same card, it just says 18. Yeah, I feel like the number one would fetch a bit of a premium. And the other thing, and we talked about it off camera, the if the number of the card matches the jersey number of the player, right? that also fetches a premium. No, this doesn't. I mean, this is a gem mint. I mean, I look yeah, at the back, it's looking, not. No. no. All nine, of that is nine, on the top five, loader. Nine, five, it's all well. on the top loader. Well, then it's a 10. Either way, it's sitting in the dollar bin. Yeah, I like it. Card. I like and it. And I'm in the shop and I'm like, I have an autograph card and a numbered card. Just like that. So, okay, Just if you were to pay, the bin. if you were to pay five bucks for a pack of cards and get those two types of cards within that pack for five bucks, would you be pleased? Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is a good deal then. Absolutely. What else do you get? And like the problem, these are the hits that you're pulling out of the blaster box. Travis Homer and his autograph. Okay, so there's, that's right. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting, like I'm getting genres of cards mixed up. So, in in magic cards, there's draft boxes, there's set boxes, there's collector boxes. But in sports cards, there's retail boxes, hobby boxes, and blaster boxes. What? I thought a blaster box meant you had less packs. Blaster box is like what they would sell at Walmart. I don't want that. <laughs> no, you want the hobby box. I got the hobby box. For football. I'm so damn glad I actually, I asked you that question, right? I was like, yeah. But I didn't get an answer and I was impetuous. I was like, those are hobby boxes, right? The guy's like, oh yeah, like, give me one of each. Yeah, you gotta make sure. At least for football, I was in the shop where I bought these singles and I was like, what do you have for boxes? And he's like, oh, I've only got high end product. And I was like, okay, I have a job and money. Like, you know what I mean? I took offense to it. And then I was like, how much is that uh, 2021 hobby box of Panini, you know, Zenith or whatever? And he's like, uh, it'll come out to uh, 12 95 And I'm like, and he's like, $1,295. 
for this box of cards. And I could be wrong about what brand, so sure. you want to come but back still. in the comments. But yeah, nothing, no boxes on the shelf were less than $1,000. $9.99 was the, the cheapest box of football cards on the shelf. And it had like 36 cards. So unless like all the 36 cards are numbered, I'll be over by the bin picking stuff like this. Paris Campbell. Who? <laughs> he plays for the Colts. He's on the other side. I don't side know anybody of... on the Colts. The Colts, are, the, the, their, their, their staff has switched over. We got a Paris Campbell. A Paris Campbell autograph card. Running back. He's a receiver, I think. Oh, I misread the top of the card. Yeah, he's a receiver. But it's numbered. It's number 90 of 150. That is so hard to read. Yeah, and there's the numbering on the back. Over over on this yeah, side. Yeah, right you can here. see it better there. Yeah. So there's another autograph card in my collection. I don't know. What year was it? It was uh, 2019. He's still in the league. Yeah. Still around. Maybe he does some crazy stuff. Well, look, I mean, it takes, generally for a receiver, it takes them three, four years to actually get good consistently. Right? Unless you're a Jamar Chaser. You got to be in the right situation. Right? And sometimes you're not. Like, how long does Cooper Cup not be Cooper Cup? Yeah. Now, this one we already laughed at. This is Demarcus Robinson, and nobody, nobody seems to know who that is. But I spent five dollars because, as you He's can see right there, it's limited to twenty. Only twenty people have this autographed card from uh, Leaf Cards. So what if half the people eventually are like ah, oh, whatever, get rid of it? Then there's really only ten in existence that you really want. It's number thirteen. It's this jersey, I think, was fifteen. It was very. All right, close. you were saying to match yeah, the jersey with the thing. Very close. But either way, I went out of my way, $5. The man could still turn it around. He's still around the league doing things. He's a Ram. He's opposite Cup, ideally. So maybe Cup he starts is? getting double teamed. And uh, Robinson gets some favor for that. Where was Robinson $5? playing? I'm thinking of a Robinson, but it's not him. Allen Robinson, I'm thinking of. Oh, He's Chicago. Allen Robinson, the third. He's and the I third? Found this, I think so. Uh, David Njoku. I like him as a tight end. A tight end for the Browns. Now it's all... Is that a rookie? It's all orange. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Maybe. No, I don't think it is. But it's the orange... 77 of 249. Numbered. 77 of 249. I was checking the backs of these dollar cards, and, like, people would laugh at me if they saw but I don't know. We, I don't know what I'm doing. I know I want numbered cards, <laughs> autograph card. Yeah. So this so guy's that's what still it is. in the league, still playing, still on a team. And doing well, playing well. Yeah, he's doing that's well. That's big, right? So that was a big one for a dollar. Think of it. There's more guys that make the league and don't do well than there are that, are that make the league and do well, and even fewer that do exceptionally well. There were a couple of these cards. When I when the guy was sorting them out, he counts them down, and he would stop and would that... Njoku was one of those cards, and he just went, mm, that there, it's a steal. And I was like, oh, okay. A dollar for a numbered card? That's crazy. And now, we got my favorite card of my, this, we basically, we just went through my card collection. Version 2, you know, we just went through. Mecole Hardman, yeah. rookie autograph. Now, it's not numbered. Should pay sticker. I paid sticker, I paid wow. $10 because I really like Miko Hardman. He got a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Trade Viola for Miko. Trade me who? Viola Desmond. Who's Viola Desmond? She's on the $10 bill. Oh. Unless it's a King Fisher with, what's his name? No Wilfred Laurier like from like ages ago. I'm not doing it. I want the meat coal. I'm telling you, I'm going to flip that. <laughs> it's a good deal. I'm telling you, it's a great deal. 10 bucks. He just caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Yeah, but so Nick Foles. What's Nick Foles' card going for? No. The white guy with the, the Philly special? That was sick. Do you remember yeah. that? That was I great. I do, yeah, that was pretty good. Did he win? He won the Super Bowl that year, didn't yep. he? He beat Brady. Yeah, definitely. So, I, I mean, okay, so how many cards did you have there in those hard cases? Uh, the top loaders? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
well. And you probably paid 30 bucks for all that. There's a 10 and a 5. Yeah, 10 and 2 5. So fives. 20 there and everything else was a buck. So yeah, about 30 bucks. Listen, there. again, it's back to gambling. Right? If one of those cards exactly. can give you 80 bucks. Or like we said before, the, so be the it. tasteless one. Like if Miko Hardman murders his family. Let's hope. It's not nice. Let's hope. <laughs> Friends, that's going to bring us to the point of the video. We are, we are finally and actually going to open some cards. And here they are. Two packs of the Marvel... Avengers cards by Upper Deck collect the hundred base cards. It doesn't. I don't think I have any information <laughs> about anything else. Upper Deck. You can randomly deck. insert it into these marked packs or base set cards. What year? What's the rookies? Um, four oh, cards. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. But again, these are ones I paid like eight cents for these Star Wars cards. Here we're looking for that Kylo Ren autograph. <laughs> 2021 wrestling cards are spiraling out of control you can't even get them people want them so bad and they did kabooms of wrestlers did you have that pack well i have the one pack of tops heritage i don't know there's only four cards is this it. what you want this uh, this this 2021 upper deck marble is that the same one yeah that's probably what this is here you can get a box is that the one that looks like that yeah it looks like that you get the whole box for 130 bucks that's not cheap no, it's not cheap. So, a couple of those. So What's let's, that? Yeah, yeah, Those are the Marvels. And the wrestling ones, you said they're Tops, hot? Tops Heritage 2021. Interesting. Only four cards, though. Yeah, that's not enough cards. Where should we start? I think we should start with the wrestling. I think we go wrestling. I can... I don't know enough about wrestlers these days. Like, is the Edge still wrestling? He is. Is he? I hope you get the Edge. It's also a good opportunity for me to tell you to check out Me and the Boys Wrestling every Thursday right here on the channel and replayed lot, uh, on that live, replayed on the Village Global Network Saturdays at uh, 10.30. I'm the character in that, or was, I may you're, have since retired. Around. Am I around? Do I make appearances from time to time? You were uh, in talks, in contract talks. You haven't been around for a bit. This oh. is, it's not boating well. Like, I remember just like slicing just these popping them. All kid. right, let's go. Pack number one. Pack number one. Pack number one. We're doing this. We have no idea the order of values or rares. This is or... incredible. And the first card out of this gigantic 61 card pack rip, Titus O'Neil. And if you, if you know, you know the ultimate. This man, during a Royal Rumble, ran down to the ring, fell, tripped about four feet before the ring and slid under the ring and did like a roll. But apparently he's a super humanitarian. These are matte cards. They're not glossy. I mean, that's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> Should we top load it? We're, gonna, we're not even gonna get through these four packs. The top loaders are gone because everything's a hit. When you're this excited though, everything's a hit. I know nothing about wrestling these days. I mean, if we were to go back to when I was 18, yeah, yeah I knew some wrestling. I knew lots of wrestling. I don't know, this could be like, like a custodian dressed up in some hot pants and I wouldn't know the difference. Titus O'Neil's not very good. There was a situation where uh, everybody was trying to leave up the ramp and one of the women was trying to get around Vince McMahon and Titus O'Neil kind of grabbed his suit and held him back so that the lady could go first. McMahon did not like it and basically he hasn't been seen on TV since. And the one chance he got, he ran down to the Royal Rumble and <laughs> fell. <laughs> so it's not, but he does, he's like man of the year. He does all the humanitarian. Okay, well maybe stuff. that's going to stand out one of these days. This is where I was watching okay, guys sure. open cards. I've been watching it a lot. We are okay. stuck, okay, on card one. <laughs> Titus <laughs> O'Neil. Let's go. Okay, Titus O'Neil. Up next, card uh, one. Do you know the name Seth? Freaking Rollins. Have you heard of that guy? No. Okay. Well, being out of wrestling, Seth been Rollins a while, is been a kind of while. like the new Shawn Michaels. Okay, Sweet Chin Music. I like Shawn Michaels way back in the day. I've aged myself a little bit here. And that's centered beautifully in Speaking of wrestling, I had, a, I had a dream last night that Undertaker was wearing this t-shirt. 
Really? Yeah. That's bizarre. Is it weird? Like he didn't say anything. He was just wearing the t-shirt. Now this one for me is going, I may top load this. That looks put interesting. It into my private. Immediately interesting. Into my personal collection. This is Asuka. No one is ready for Asuka. She's definitely one of my favorites, if not. Is that a cartoon? If not the favorite. She has a mask on and some bright clothes. She gave. She had an undefeated streak that broke Goldberg's record. Really, he yeah, had a yeah, long she, record. She won uh, an amazing amount of matches in a row. And up last is Dewdrop, and uh, she's fine. She looks like she's like a Tom Cochran concert. But it's not. It's not great. So the Topps Heritage Wrestling, like I don't know, the cards are. How is that her best sort card? Classic. Yeah, I don't know. Like that's the best they could get. Is that her rookie card? That's not even a rookie. That's like yeah. she's getting herself like a selfie stick. It might be her rookie. I don't know. I, don't know that, I say that that Asuka, whatever her name is, I think that's probably your best card there. I think so too. And that's just because like I want that for the personal collection. Realistically, I think it would be the Seth. But this is a bigger draw on he's TV. He's a bigger draw right. and a bigger name. But we'll put these aside. Okay. Let's, let's... I think you go Star Wars. I think so too. How We're many are that bad? Six. And what are you looking for? We're looking for the exclusive Adam Driver. All right, Adam Carlo Driver. One. Let's go, this Adam Driver. One. This has the Adam Driver in it. I this feel is it. the one. I feel it. How many packs could you have bought of that? I don't know. Like it was just kind of on the list. I went searched by ending soonest, and it was a couple seconds away. Oh, sitting bang! There for like ten cents. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Okay, twelve dollars in shipping. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> It is deceptive. What's and the guy's name? It. I don't even know. Adam Driver, and he played Kylo Ren, but what oh, you Kylo see is Ren. collect all... Kylo Ren, Kylo what's Ren? that? Is You're that on it? Oh my god, no, that's just an ad for you to collect. Oh, jeez, they... Well, wait a minute here. <laughs> wait a minute here, that's the Kylo Ren. Is it numbered? <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's no way. No, no, no. I'm sure that this, Kylo comes, Ren. this probably comes in every single pack just as an ad for you to collect all the stickers. And that's where, if you're gonna watch along with us, friends, as we open these packs, that's going to where that's where the gold is gonna be. Our ignorance it's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> this is literally like the checklist card. Yes, yes. Get. And yeah. we we popped huge for it. The There's Kylo no way. Ren. The Kylo Ren. <laughs> but you see the name of the guy you're looking for. Oh, oh is this for real? Like it's scenes, I guess. It's not even centered nice. <laughs> Walkers, Second card in. Walkers incoming. Are those even walkers? Those aren't walkers. I don't know. Right? I They're mean, not the walking. <laughs> My version of walkers is Walking Dead. So, okay. Thank Straight you. up, I haven't seen Star Wars beyond the first three, like the original three. Oh, really? You haven't yeah. seen them? No. Okay. So you don't even know who the hell Kylo Ren is. No, but I know how to read, and I saw Kylo, <laughs> Kylo Ren. I thought we hit money. So I guess they're just scenes. They're not gloss they're all matte here's the resistance so is the picture of kylo ren like the actual actor oh, what's this oh wait back? a sec okay. you can make a puzzle on the back hold on yes yes oh my god oh. okay we got connecting puzzle pieces here business <laughs> just picked up get the penny sleeves <laughs> get the hard uh, tops out right now okay i'm all right with this pose interrogation no i'm just saying if that mat oh Oh, look at the line. Look at, we got a line here. Oh, we got, no. we got, we got, is that on the front too? Are you kidding me? Are these okay? Look at that. I'll try to get it into the glare. This card is ruined. Okay, can I ask you a question? This card's ruined out of the pack. Uh, this is for anybody who's watching as well. That is card number five. Can you see it better there? This card is ruined. Okay, that's card number five. How does card number five get that, but one through four are fine? I mean, the pack's not bent. Printing error? Do you printing think it's error? more because of the printing error? Is it a read? Is it a screwed? This is a rookie of pose interrogation. Well, that's disappointing. Is it part of the card? How many cards? You need six cards, right? Six cards. Okay. Okay. Hunting the assassin. Look at the back of those. See, this is something interesting here with the pictures. Three of twenty. The hero's quest. Yeah, we got connecting pictures. Three of twenty. This is number two of twenty. Okay. We're looking, for, we're looking for a flush. 
Luke. Yes. Oh, and Darth. Luke and Darth. How Vader is that not two panel card? Family legacy. That's got to be an insert, right? I would imagine that's something. Look at that bad boy. And in a pack with, you know, where you're looking for Kylo Ren, that's old school. Well, we already got him on the first card. That's true. Now, that's, I will say, these are the it. only two cards of the six that have a puzzle piece picture on the back. And it just so happens that these are both blue. We have no other blue cards, but these two blue ones yeah. okay, fit so maybe together. The green, maybe the green and the purples sort of connect. Well, they don't have, none of those have pictures. Well, like, that's what we're dealing with there. Whatever that is. Again, oh, two of 20. Okay. And three of 20. Oh, okay. Oh. What's the Kylo Reed say in the back? <laughs> Collect all 18 sticker cards. Yeah. Is that a sticker on the front? Is it? Oh, maybe it is. I'm not going to pull it because it's mint. It's centered perfect. Look at how it's perfect. <laughs> That's the hit. That's probably the key. How is that the hit? <laughs> what isn't any of these other ones? <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it's 100% for sure. Kylo Ren. Kaboom. I mean, they called it. We nailed it. Yeah, we pulled them first. <laughs> May contain redemption cards with expiration dates? That's another thing you could get. You get like a, basically a coupon, and then you got to send the coupon, and then it takes them 8 to 12 even more? months. I already went to the store and I bought the pack. It takes them 8 to 12 months to send you some card. Get out of town. It's a good card, but a lot of people don't get them. Well, that's because a lot of people don't have that kind of time. I mean, you're waiting. Anyways, let's no, move on. What else we got? We got a couple Avengers. Marvels. Couple Avengers. Marvels, four cards per pack. Which okay, is so joke. who's the Avenger you're looking for out of a, just a fan favorite of Avengers? That's maybe Spider-Man. Really? She hulks pretty good. I don't know who the, in terms of. I'm going to go with Ant-Man. Yeah? Maybe even the Wasp. Like, I don't know how you would assign value to the Avengers. Well, I want rarity. I mean, the Ant-Man, I don't know. Who, I mean, he's an ant. The Wasp, okay, she here? seems kind of silly. Here? Malekith. I think that's a villain that Thor faced. Upper Deck. I'm impressed by the Upper Deck brand. I, I do like that. It's a nice looking card. It's got some gloss. I'm not, like, I don't really Is it a that. thicker card? Maybe, yeah. I enjoy the gloss. Number four? Okay, number four. What else we got? I got a Ten. cable. I got a cable card here. And it looks like a very young version of cable. Is this rookie? This is maybe. Definitely. This rookie would have been in the 90s for sure. Intelligence, strength, speed, durability, energy, protection. Is this a game? It's not a game, right? Could be no. a game. Is it a game? Speak softly and carry a big bleeping gun. Do you have quotes? Like moves or anything like that. But they've got their resume of attributes in the back. That's true. We've got Cosmic okay. Ghost Rider. He's fairly new. So Ghost Rider gets imbued somehow with the cosmic powers that uh, Spider Man had and many others. That's neat. And now, this to me is a hit. Oh, nice. This is my favorite Marvel character. Now, I assume, I thought these were Avengers cards just because there's like. Maybe it's a misprint. Some Avengers Hard on, topic. on the thing. But here's Venom. And that's my is that favorite. that card number four? Uh, that's the fourth of four. So maybe your number, last cards are rare. Number six. No, 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 but it's a four card pack. Oh, yeah, yeah. And no, I, it, card. it wasn't the, the last. I moved it to the back for dramatic effect. Oh, you already saw it? Yeah. Oh, you fooled me. That's a Venom right there. I was excited, but I was in the middle of talking about whoever we got last. Cable. I see that. That's a Venom. Sharp corners. Like so that. it's corners, edges, centering, and surface. Those are the four attributes that... Yeah. I mean, I'm no expert. That's, that's Venom. That's, that's the best that I could hope for. If we're only getting base cards, the what thing does that say? Where, Legends? Where no. it normally talks about inserts, this one's like, look for randomly inserted base Absolute cards. Card. So what do you think that means there, right? So you got number six, presumably number six in the set, Marvel 20, and it looks like a... It's probably a... It's like a license plate kind of... Probably the Do the other cards have that? Issue they, they all 20. Have it? 
Number five. They're probably hopeless. covers. Paranormal. This doesn't have any. Next one. Keep us on the rails. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. So they all have something different at the top, but these two, look, these two have this, but these two don't. Oh, maybe those ones aren't covers and the other ones are. These look like issue numbers to me. Okay. Friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you subscribe, you can get notifications. Click the notification bell and you can see us open the rest of these packs. All these football cards, we're going to give it to you in shorts because that's what's best for business. It's going to be an entertaining time. Meanwhile, here's the last pack of cards we're going to open tonight. America Chavez. Oh, I thought Wonder Woman. These are Marvel cards. I don't much care about America Chavez. She's DC? No, she's Marvel. Okay. There's no DC characters in here. Magic, now that's, she's cool. The centering's awful. Is it? I think, right? It looks I like see it's... guys doing this online. I see them doing this, and then they're like, oh, the centering's good. And then they do that. But those are with cards with like a defined border, nothing that spills over the side yeah. to kind of throw it off. So, I mean, I don't know how to say. It's tough to say. Yeah. I don't That's know. Uh, Colossus's sister. She's kind of a cool character. Okay, so she doesn't have anything either in the corner. All right, we got Bishop. That guy does. He'll go with the cable. That's, that's all right. Bishop's pretty cool, I guess. What's he got in the corner up here? Uh, number nine. And then an issue number. Okay. Number 86. Oh, so there's lots of cards in this. Spider Woman, number 94. Spider Woman, rumored to be a big part of the Secret Wars storyline. Maybe the movie that's coming up. So what's what's the uncommon or the rare in, in those? I don't know. I don't think in these packs specifically there's anything. Because like I said, where it would normally say, it just says this pack contains an assortment of Marvel trading cards. Randomly inserted into these specifically marked packs are base set parts. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, and in my franticness, buying packs for, I, I want to say like 30 cents, 25 cents. I didn't, like, there was no chance to pull anything cool out of that, really. I guess. And that Either sucks. way. That's a suck pack, you know? Like, I'm not, ha other than the Venom. Venom. I'll take the Venom, so I guess it's not a total wash for... 60 cents or whatever but that's how it can go sure and i'm not going to put the venom in a top loader no you're going to save it for yeah, all the we, we got to save it for these all the goods cards. so that's going to do it for this this toe dipping back into the nostalgic uh world of sports cards oh it's just begun in various cards i think it has we're about to open these packs so make sure you like and subscribe it's gonna make it rain and I'll get this up as fast as I can. Check out the sponsors, www.420dna.com, because if it's in you, it should be on you just like it's on me. HoldenRoadsCoffee.com. It's always fresh, never tired coffee with personality and the Village Global Network family of channels making the net work. We'll see you soon, friends, in a series of shorts. Wish us luck. It's going to be fun. You don't want to miss it. Let's cheers to this. Opening packs. Bringing polls. Big time cash. We're going to use all these top loaders and more. PSA 10s. 100%. We need a box of Ziploc bags because once we run out of top loaders, we're going to be starting shoving them in anything we can to protect.